Hey, what is going on guys? So, I wanted to make this pretty fast video on um, making a GTA 5 public session by yourself. As you can see, there's uh, a decent amount of people in this lobby um, with me. And this is a public session, obviously. So, I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to get right into it. So, how we want to start this is um, start with Control Delete. And then we want to open up Task Manager. And then in Task Manager, there's this tab, Performance. We want to go to Performance. And then there's this Open Resource Monitor down below. We want to click on that. And all this will pop up. You want to be under the CPU tab. It's normally what it opens under. And then you'll see GTA 5.exe. What you want to do is you want to right-click that. Now, you don't want to use any of these other options besides Suspend Process. You only want to use Suspend Process. Ending Process is exactly what it says it is. It'll close out GTA, all that. So you don't want to hit that. You want to hit Suspend Process, confirm the Suspend, and then once it goes blue, you just want to wait like five, six, seven seconds. And then uh, once that's done, once you've waited a decent amount of time, you want to uh, right-click it again. And then obviously not hit any of these. You want to hit resume process. Confirm the resume. And then you want to wait until it, hit, it goes black again. And then once it's black, you can close out all this. You don't really need this. And then you just hit GTA 5. You open up GTA 5 and look, everyone just left. I'm in the session by myself. It's only me in the session. So that's how you get a session by yourself. That's pretty straightforward. You can be in a public session with your friends now. Or just be alone in a public session, do whatever whatever you want. And that's it. That's the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hey, man. Like the video, maybe? And um, I'll talk to you guys later.